Hi guys, Sandra here of the blog with SensibleMom.com and today I'm going to share three Mother's Day gift ideas with you for the mom who loves the kitchen and then after that I'm going to show you how to make delicious strawberry shortcakes. So let's get started. Okay, the first Mother's Day gift idea that I want to share is this beautiful Bella ceramic kettle. I think it's gorgeous and it's perfect for quickly heating up water to make tea or other hot drinks. The Bella ceramic kettle is also stylish and easy to use. And one of my favorite features is the cord that fits nicely under the electric plate. Overall, this is a great gift idea and I think it'd be perfect for Mother's Day. The next gift idea I want to share is the crisp strawberry slicer. This kitchen gadget is great for slicing strawberries quickly and easily. And one thing I love about this slicer is that even though it's called a strawberry slicer, it's not just for strawberries. You can also use it to slice veggies and other fruits. And guys, this slicer is high quality and very sturdy, so you can get years of use out of it. It's got a rubber non-skid base, it's got high quality stainless steel blades, and you can even slice multiple strawberries at one time. So all in all, I think this would make a great Mother's Day gift idea for mom. The last gift idea I wanna share with you is another crisp kitchen gadget. It's the easy to use dual juicer. This juicer is great for when you want fresh orange juice or even fresh lemon juice in a matter of seconds. And this is just another kitchen tool that you're sure to get lots of use out of, which I think makes it another great Mother's Day gift idea. So those are my Mother's Day gift ideas for the mom who loves the kitchen. Now I'm gonna show you how to make light, airy, and delicious strawberry shortcakes from scratch. So let's get started. First, let's go over the ingredients in this recipe. And now this recipe actually has three parts, the fruit topping, the shortcakes, and the whipped cream. And so I'm gonna go over the ingredients you'll need for each part. And you don't have to worry about writing these ingredients down if you want to make these delicious strawberry shortcakes on your own because the ingredients and the directions on how to make them are all in the description box below. And then they'll also be included in a blog post on my blog. And I'll link to that post just as soon as it's up on my site, thesensiblemom.com. That link will also be in the description box below. So I'm going to start off with what you need for the fruit topping. You're going to need three pounds of strawberries that have been hulled. And that just means that you have cut the top out of the strawberry or cut the top off of the strawberry. So you're gonna need three pounds or three one pound containers. That's typically how they're sold in the grocery store. You're also gonna need a half a cup of sugar and three fourths of a cup of orange juice. And of course, I use my handy dual juicer to squeeze some fresh juice for this recipe. Now for the shortcakes, you'll need two cups of all-purpose flour plus extra for the counter, two tablespoons of sugar, one tablespoon of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of salt, and I'm using fine Himalayan pink salt, eight tablespoons of unsalted butter that has been chilled and cut into chunks, so basically, you just wanna use butter straight out of the refrigerator. You don't wanna use butter that's been sitting out on your counter for very long because you want the butter to be cold and firm. Next, you'll need two thirds of a cup of almond milk, and then you'll need one whole egg that's been lightly beaten. And then finally, you'll need one egg white that's been lightly beaten. And for the final part of this recipe, the whipped cream, you'll need two cups or one pint of heavy whipping cream that's chilled. So basically, like the butter, you wanna use whipping cream that's straight out of the refrigerator. Then you'll need two tablespoons of sugar 
and two and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. So those are all of the ingredients that you'll need for this recipe. Now let's go ahead and get started with making these delightful strawberry shortcakes. Okay, so for the fruit, in a large bowl, measure out about three cups of strawberries and crush them with a potato masher. Now, slice the remaining strawberries and add them to the bowl with the crushed strawberries. And of course, I'll be using my handy strawberry slicer to slice up my strawberries. Next, add in the sugar and the orange juice and stir the ingredients together. Once the ingredients are all incorporated, cover the bowl and place the strawberries in the refrigerator to chill. Now it's time to make the shortcakes. First, get the oven ready by adjusting the oven rack to the lower middle position and heat the oven to 425 degrees. Next, pulse the flour, three tablespoons of the sugar, the baking powder, and the salt together in a food processor or a Nutri Ninja with a blend and prep bowl like I have just until they're combined. Now add in the chunks of butter and pulse just until the butter has been combined. Next, transfer the ingredients to a large bowl. Now, mix the almond milk with the whole egg that's been beaten, then add those ingredients to the flour mixture in the large bowl. Gently stir the ingredients together just until they're incorporated, then turn the dough out onto a lightly floured surface. Then, gently knead the dough by folding it onto itself about three or four times. Then, shape the dough into a small rectangle that's about one inch thick. Next, Line a baking sheet with parchment paper, then using a biscuit cutter, 
or a circular one cup measuring cup, that's what I'm using, cut out six biscuits and place them on the parchment paper about one inch apart. After that, you should have enough dough left over to make two more biscuits for a total of eight biscuits. Once the eight biscuits are on the baking sheet, brush the tops with the egg white and then sprinkle the remaining one tablespoon of sugar over the biscuits. Then place the biscuits in the oven and bake them for about 14 minutes or until the shortcakes are golden brown. Once you remove the shortcakes from the oven, allow them to cool for about 10 to 15 minutes while you make the whipped cream. Okay, for the whipped cream, place all of the ingredients in a chilled, medium-sized bowl. I personally like to put my bowl in the freezer for about five minutes before I start making my whipped cream to make sure that I'm starting off with a nice cold bowl. And then, Whip the ingredients together with an electric mixer on low speed for about three to five minutes. Whip until soft peaks form, but be very careful not to over whip. Once your whipped cream is ready, it's time to assemble the shortcakes. So to assemble the shortcakes, split a biscuit in half on a plate or a bowl, and then add a heaping spoon of the strawberry fruit topping to the bottom half. Then add a dollop of whipped cream to the strawberries. Now place the top biscuit on top of the whipped cream and then add another heaping spoon of the strawberry fruit topping over the top biscuit. And add another dollop of whipped cream to that. Repeat this step for the remaining biscuits. So there you have it guys. That's how you make delicious strawberry shortcakes from scratch. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're doing well and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.